We're gonna replace our grill support located right behind our main grill assembly. We're gonna go ahead and use our 10 millimeter wrench, go ahead and loosen and disconnect our ground on our battery. Spin that off and set that aside. We're gonna use our trim tool and we'll go underneath our hood here. There's gonna be a series of plastic push pins on the top of our radiator support. Now our particular vehicle seems to be missing a whole bunch of these clips as well as our upper air intake tube right here. Now what you wanna do is go ahead and remove your clips here, remove the air intake tube and set that aside. Using your trim tool, go ahead and pop up the center of these buttons. to remove these clips. Once we get those out, we'll just go ahead and set those aside. Go ahead and lift up and remove this unit, put that aside. On the top of the grill here, you have two eight millimeter bolts going into the upper support. Loosen and remove these bolts. I'm gonna go ahead and remove two Phillips head screws. There's one vertical here, one going into the front here. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, loose and remove these screws. We're gonna repeat this process for the passenger side. Now for this here, we did remove our wheels. It just made it that much easier for us. It's not necessary for you to do that, but trust me, it does make it easier to get in to your hardware. Across the lower lip of your front bumper, there's a series of plastic push pins. Just go ahead and use your trim tool. We need to go ahead and remove these. Starting at the edge of your bumper, doesn't matter driver or passenger side, go ahead and grab the lip here, pull outward. What you're doing is disconnecting the bumper from the locking trim inside. Pull out towards you, towards the front. And this is start to disconnect all the way around. It's going to unlock from underneath your headlight assembly. As you pull this out, we'll look down behind. If your vehicle is equipped with fog lights, you're gonna have a connector down there you want to disconnect. Simply reach down, press on the tab, and pull that connector off. As you continue to pull the bumper off around the front with the grill, you're gonna have the passenger side fog light to disconnect as well. Now that we have the fog lights disconnected, you can remove the bumper and the grill and one fell swoop. Now the bottom side of our grill along the top part of our bumper, there's gonna be a series of these plastic clips. I'm gonna go ahead and get our trim tool in here. What we wanna try and do is pop out the center here. Pop that up. And then we'll go ahead and remove the button. We're gonna do this across the whole bottom here. And once we pull these plastic pins here, your grill will separate from the bumper, so you'll want to have both of them protected. Go ahead and tip our bumper and separate our grill. Around the perimeter here, we have the little plastic clips here locking our chrome trim to our back grill backing. So let's go ahead and apply some pressure on these here. Might be able to use a trim tool. 
We're gonna go ahead and work our way around the perimeter here, unlocking these tabs. Just gonna continue to work our way around. We have our outside trim disconnected. Now we're gonna be disconnecting the inboard clips. Pop out our rubber seal. Let's go ahead and pull out these Phillips head screws so we don't lose any of those. Use your trim tool going underneath our seal between the chrome and our black backing. You can pry in here and lift up. And it's popping our clips out here. Go ahead and lift this up. And we're basically just dislodging all of the clips around the perimeter here. Okay, go ahead and remove our chrome trim bezel. When you use the hook side of our pry tool here, or interior trim tool, and we're just gonna go in and we get behind the trim, and we're twisting this, and it's popping our painted trim bezel out. Just gonna work our way around the perimeter doing this. Just gonna continue working this. A little bit of patience and a little bit of time and should have that popped out. Let's go ahead and tap our little rivets right here. These are like little metal posts that come through on the back of our Honda emblem. That'll pop that off. I'm gonna remove our hood to grill gasket seal right here. Basically just peeling it up off of these little lock tabs. Take your insert here, line this up. We're simply going to apply pressure as we go around and it should snap into place. Flip this over. You can check on the back side and make sure all of your little tabs are locked in. Install your hood to grill gasket seal. It's going to line these clips up with the gasket itself. Just gonna work that on. Just continue all the way down. Now if your gasket is worn or torn or beat up or even missing, now's the time that you wanna go ahead and address that situation. Ours was in good shape, so we're able to swap that out.
And once that's clipped on there, you want to make sure that the back side itself is also fit into the back of the grill base. So basically you're just going to be pushing this in behind. Work your way all the way down. Let's go ahead and lower your grill trim down into place. And align that up. You gently want to go ahead and apply downward pressure so that those tabs lock into the back side. going to be squeezing, a little bit of squeezing and pressing to get these tabs in. And don't forget you want to get your inboard side also all anchored. Here we go, snapping it into place. Continue all the way across the top. Get all these installed and we'll snug those down. Let's go ahead and line up our plastic push pins through our bumper here. Push these up into our grill assembly. Put our lock button in. Let's just continue across the whole portion of the grill. reach behind here, line up your fog light connectors. Go ahead and press those and clip it on. Go ahead and repeat for the other side. Now what I want to do is go ahead and bring up our bumper assembly. I'm going to line up our bumper here on the side. Get the bumper inserted in or underneath our headlight assembly. As we're doing that on the driver's side, I want to do the same on the passenger side. over here. Let's get and repeat this process for the passenger side. You can install your bolt on the top here. There are 10 millimeter bolts. We just happen to source a couple new ones. Not going to tighten them down. We just want to get these lined up. and get those threaded down. Just gonna install our screw up here. And snug that in. Gonna install our lower screw right here. Once we have that snug, let's go ahead and repeat for the other side. Go ahead and tuck your fender liner up underneath the bumper, like so. Do the same on the other side. Take your splash shield, slide up underneath the bumper cover. Do this all the way across. So we have that lined up. Go ahead and start installing your locking push pins. Do this across the whole front. Again, 
continue putting these in through our back panels here, as well as the passenger side. Let's go ahead and install the upper radiator cover here. Let's go ahead and get our buttons put in. Let's go ahead and install our buttons and just continue this process all the way across the top. We're able to source our air intake tube here. Get that pressed into place. Let's go ahead and install these two buttons. Go ahead and grab your ground terminal. Go ahead and connect that. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down our nut here. that snug, you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.